Yeah, keep sipping on that mm-hmm, Coca Cola tea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sipping on that Coca Cola tea. <laughs> that Coca Cola lean, my guy. Lean. <laughs> now you drinking lean? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good, man. <laughs> the shoulder lean, the shoulder lean. <laughs> 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 oh man yeah big tune that yo big tune but yeah what's it called episode what now episode what now what is it what is it 158 or 157 yeah. let, me look, let me look on the page i know we back this uh it's it's this is the first episode of september it's been a minute and the first episode of august august what what one <laughs> month are you in fam <laughs> <laughs> no, I said the first episode from August. Yo, since August, since the last August yep. episode we done. Yes. Yeah. Just we have sure retired. Episode 150 what? Yeah. 157. Yeah. Episode 157. 157, Of the Out of Control Podcast. Podcast, back. podcast, DJ podcast. One word. The Real Matt Lore, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy. We out here, fam. We back. We back. Yeah, I know it's been a minute, but we back, yo. Like, yes, the sir. weekend after the last episode, we was at c e in Toronto. Yes, sir. C and E. Yeah. And that was that was pretty fun, you know, going back there for the first time in three years, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yep. It was yeah. it, it was pretty packed, but it was still decent. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. um and of course I know we didn't go on any rides and shit, but no, nah, not I was even trying to go on any rides at all. Because even when we went before, we didn't go on any rides either. Yeah, so. if I'm gonna go on rides, I'd rather go to Wonderland. See any I'm also there for just link up with friends, eat some food that's actually edible none of that nasty shit <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah just walk around and just have a good time you know yeah and what's yep. it called like that one time we were about to, we were just like me you and my homegirl we were just chilling by the stairs and the skunk ran upon us <laughs> oh yeah 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 well, oh no uh, oh no um i can't get sprayed i got church yeah tomorrow. i literally got, yeah, I got I, church I, tomorrow exactly bro and and it's like dog i, I had to sleep over at your house the um that same night i can't go i can't go i can't follow you home follow you home smelling like no, sir. Skunk. hell no nah. no sir like i told your friend you gotta walk home you and at that time home. there's like no access to a shower no grocery stores are open to buy that tomato juice or sauce or whatever it is you have to bathe it after getting sprayed <laughs> gonna have to find it somewhere yeah well the skunk didn't run up on us like i just saw it running by and as soon as no, i but it was it, funny. I'm like, what the fuck but it was funny because the two other girls sitting like beside us. As soon as they heard me, that's when they started. But they running didn't even notice it. The skunk. Yeah. No, but they didn't even notice it. Yeah. We noticed, when I first we, noticed, that's when mm-hmm. they noticed. But we, it. but we noticed it first, and then they heard you yell, and they were going like insane after that. Yeah, and it was just like a natural, impulsive response. It's like skunk. Oh no, get the the fuck. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we had that CNE, and then the following weekend, Labor Day weekend, you was away. Yes. You we was used, away in the we, co- cottage uh, where again? Uh, the place was called Shirkton Shores around like Lake Erie. Okay, Shirkton Shore and Lake Erie. Okay. Yeah, you were allowed to drink and be like on the golf cart. So it was pretty fun. Oh, you guys went golfing as well? No, like oh, that just, was just the golf cart by the, the cottage. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like it was like a little community type thing with all oh, the cottage. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Just like if mo- next, like um, um, next year, if anything, we should be, we should like rent one down there and see. <laughs> And okay okay yeah, yeah. i haven't it's, been to a cottage in a minute it's been years since i've even been inside a and it's pretty dope too like you can drive the golf cart like right on the beach oh, that's dope even over the sand grounds right oh yeah yeah like the if um when we went it basically looked like you know like fast and the furious like their meetups yes yeah yeah it basically looked like that but just on sand okay like people souped it up people had like um what was it like sound systems in their golf carts it was it was pretty sick bro it was pretty oh, okay, sick. Okay. Yeah. They yeah. And I bet the weather it. must have been nice that weekend too, right? Yes. The Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. The Monday, it was it was like all rain, bro. Oh, so the Monday like was guys, all rain. So it we was came back fr- on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, perfect timing. You guys left as soon as the weather got shitty. <laughs> yeah, we basically left in the morning when it was like raining, but it was yeah. better for us to leave, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because yeah, yeah. you know, like the three days you're there, the weather's nice, and then the day you guys leave, trip done. That's when the sunshine done and the rain comes. Perfect timing. Exactly. That means time to go back to the yard. Yeah, back to the yard we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but it was a good time still. Yeah, and also the following weekend, last weekend, um, we went to um Western Fair, which is basically the London version of CNE. First time being there. Yeah, there were some of the rides from the X was at 
the Western yeah, like, fair. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the rides they had from yeah, like were pretty much the same. But of course, we didn't go on those. Like that's no, obviously not. I just went there to walk around and see. Yeah, what was especially going on, that right? damn um, what's it called? You know that circular um ride um, where it goes round in a circle. Like yeah, a the car wheel, like the, the car fire. one. No, I think it's like the fireball <laughs> one or whatever it is. <clears throat> I don't remember that one. Yeah, like I see it, it's just round in a circle. Like you're literally facing upside down or whatever when you go on that ride. Oh, nah, I like wasn't up, paying attention. Around in a circle, three sixty degrees. It's like nah. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, hell no. Nah. I wasn't paying attention, but yeah, no thanks. Yeah, I, yeah, like you see that at there and that C and E. But like, yeah, there was like fifteen bucks. Yeah, fifty bucks for for um for admission, and we didn't know that. At ten o'clock, within the yeah, final but there's hour, no point to get in. But oh, it's no oh. point because it's only one hour. Yeah, what are you gonna do in one hour? Like if it ended at one, okay, sure. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Like to me, it still seems like it's kind of early for them to shut down at eleven. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't go until like twelve. You know? Yeah, because at CNE in Toronto, we was there till like I think it closed at midnight, right? Yeah, but closed at midnight, but they didn't like kick us out because we're yeah. like, still there. Yeah, yeah, but, like, but yeah. but everything else after twelve o'clock was like closed, closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when, when we walk, yeah, because when we walked by, remember they were like closing up and like, um, like shutting down everything. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and I'm yeah, yeah and I almost forgot. Um, while we was at CNE in Toronto, there was a Toronto Argos game going on. Yes, there was, and the fireworks sounded like yeah. That's shots. what I was gonna say to <laughs> say, bro. Like your dog. That shit scared us. Like, yo, whenever the Argos scored a touchdown, you just hear boom, yeah, but, boom, but the, boom. But the game was packed, though. The game was packed. Yeah, it was packed because, like, because BMO Field is right, is right there in the middle of the shit, you know? Yeah, but I wonder if you can, like, you know, like, if you get into the game. Yeah. Right, are you allowed to walk in the X after? Because basically it's right there. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to. So it's, like, free access then? I guess you should be she should because, be able to since it's I'm inside pretty, the scene. Yeah, that's what I'm saying because I'm pretty sure you you have to like show like that you're going to the game first. Yeah. And what they can't really stop you after, anyways. Yeah, they can't they can't really stop you from walking around in the X after exiting the game. That's what I'm saying because it's right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, you know. Yeah. Plus, they, who they were facing? They were facing the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Yes, and yeah, and I think they won, right? Yeah, Argos ended up yes. winning. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it was twenty something. Yeah, like um, I don't remember <clears throat> if it was by much, but they came out with the W. Yeah, I think I think what's it called? They're up by two touchdowns. Hamilton was coming back, but then Toronto pulled away with another touchdown. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I think this weekend is the Brampton <laughs> Fair type thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're having like their own like at Chinkuzi Park, right? No, not Chinkuzi. Remember where I brought you and Fazzle that one time? Yeah. Do you remember or no? When was this? And like that open field and they had like, there was like a couple of rides and like games and like all these food trucks that were there. Not quite sure if I remember still in Brampton, right? I don't know. Yeah. Off of like Heart Lake Road. Heart Lake Road. Hmm. Like this was like way before COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Way before. It was yeah. me, you, Fazzle. Like we went to go check it out still. <sighs> oh, then, wait. I yeah. don't think this was a, Bre- this, oh yeah. Mayfield ends. Yeah, something was, like that. Yeah, yeah it's that Heart part. Lake. It's like Heart Lake in Mayfield ends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those ends. Yeah, I remember now. I remember. And then, like, my friend's kid came. Well, like, my friend's kid seen us. Yeah, well, basically me. around Caledon or close to yeah. Caledon. Yeah. And then I remember, like, my friend's kid, like, hit me in the head with, like, that blow up hammer thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sorry, Matt. So sorry. Yeah, that fair. I remember just now. I forgot about that. Yeah, the, um, they brought it back. So it's it's this weekend. Yeah, I think we went to that like the same year, like right before COVID. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's finally back as well, too. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. but obviously it's not as big as the London one is not bad. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, the yeah. London... The, the London one was pretty chill. It was pretty all like, right. The so... London one seemed like. Uh, it seemed like the X, but like smaller type thing. Yeah, yeah, but smaller like, but more laid back and chill. But obviously, the Brampton one's not going to be that big. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's it called? And I know my bad for making you guys walk half an hour because I didn't know where it was. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to look at the directions myself. Yeah, because I didn't <laughs> know where the address was for Western Fair. I thought well, it was now, downtown. Well, now we know. We park now at we the know. Casino. Yeah. We park at the casino. Yeah, we and next up time I'm gonna downtown. and next time I'm gonna go in there to win my money back. 
<laughs> when the money back you pay for parking, only six bucks. <laughs> only six bucks. Only six bucks. Yeah, I know. That was my mistake, you know, but now I know. Because, like, yeah, we ended up parking. It was like a five minute drive, but a 30 minute walk. And I'm like, oh, shit. yeah, it was a far Our legs walk. Be hurting. <laughs> it was a far walk. We should have walked back. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But good thing, like one of my boys that was coming through last minute, he was able to he I told him to park closer. I took and and um he was able to drive us back to where we yeah, yeah, yeah. downtown. Like so, I told him, like, just drop us by the strip club. That's how close we was at. Yes. And I Cade, saw gold. <laughs> and Cade went inside after. Never been inside ever. He even got when the- I. Even when I did a Uber delivery, I never went inside. Cade <laughs> got the platinum treatment. The platinum treatment. It never that. <laughs> <laughs> of course that. What's the platinum treatment in the strip club? I don't know. Never been. <laughs> neither, it beats, I, neither would I. I don't think there's such thing. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah. Anyways, okay. But yeah, we back though. It's the 17th of September. Is and- it, sir? Is yeah. it right now? It's the seven right now as we're recording. It's September 17th. Yes, it is. Yeah. And when this pod is out, it will be the 17th. It will still be the 17th because <laughs> we record in the same day. And I'm doing research because I know, like, right now the weather's getting a little chilly right now. Well, more so in the morning, you'll need a sweater. It's like under 10 degrees, but it yeah, will but warm up to like 20s. Weird. But degree. like, because it will warm up, like, <laughs> like in the morning, like you said, it'll be, it'll be like, um, it'll be kind of chilly. Yeah. And then I'm wearing a sweater to work. By the time I get to work, it's like hot. Yeah. And then around like six, seven, it's back to chilly. Yeah. But okay. this is the this is like the weather that I like though. I like to wear hoodies to work. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Falls yeah. my like, you know, as a Canadian, falls my favorite weather. I like summer, but you know, like I can't yes. stand them, you know, fall, boiling hot fall, days. Fall mm-hmm. is your favorite weather. That's what you said. Fall is your favorite okay. weather. Let me say that. Little. Let me say that slower. <laughs> Favorite weather, weather favorite we- season, weather, not favorite wet season, wetter, S Z N season. <laughs> yes. And all the fans out there, we were supposed to get Jay staffs, our returning guest on the pod. Yeah. But he forgot and he went to a birthday party. I'm like, it's all good, my guy. It's all good. It's all you good. know, we'll have him yep. on when he's ready. He's welcome anytime, yep. you know, in the meantime, we'll still him. pump up. Pump, pump, we'll still get some episodes out well, and talk pump about up, some pump shit. up, pump up the podcast, pump up, push the out podcast. some episodes out. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> but I was just doing some research. Yeah. So the first official day of fall in Canada is September 22nd. So summer ain't over just yet. Y'all five more days. <laughs> like I said, it's only two months. Fuck out of here with that two months <laughs> bullshit. With that bull jab, skip. <laughs> skip the bull jab, skip. Come yeah. on, skip. We actually have like I think uh, two or three more hot days left in the month. I think they as said tomorrow. Week- they no, they said tomorrow is supposed to be a hot one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm checking the weather app just now. Like here, like basically in southern Ontario. Like yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, later today, Sunday, Monday is going to be fairly hot, 25 degrees plus, and then after that. It's gonna slowly and surely start cooling down. I like think Sunday's like Sunday's supposed to be nice too, no? Yeah. Basically, as of like next weekend, it will be start to cool down. I look good. I like that. Yeah. So that hoodie season is coming. It's coming, fam. Yeah, it's I coming. was about to play the summer's over interlude off that Drake Views album, but not yet, because summer ain't really done yet. And for like <laughs> another five days. <laughs> it's all good. So yeah, yo. So yeah. But anyways. Anyways, that's a wrap. We'll yeah, come back I know it's going to be a shorter part today. Plus, I yeah. got to get up in the morning. Got to help my brothers out with with some shit. My brother and sister in law in Guelph. Oh, that's not that's not bad, sir. Yeah, yo, cause yeah, cause like here's a um, what's it called? Here's a um OCP update. What's the update? They're moving them. They're moving to London. They're coming. To, really? Yeah. Like closer to you guys. Yeah, closer to us. Yeah. So they'll be in London or St. Thomas. London, London. Oh, so then what? They're going to have to find other jobs now, too? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. And plus, like, I think my sister-in-law is on maternity leave, so... Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 you were saying. Because uh, it's supposed to be... Expe- the uh, kid is expected in December, December, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. My guy. Yeah, but there of course, has- yeah, they'll adjust gotta, just fine. You got to catch up, my guy. You got to catch up. Yeah, right. Kid with who? Kid with who? That's exactly. both of our excuses yes. for not having a kid yet. Kid with who? Exactly. Man knows. Man knows. Man knows. 
Yeah, yo. Because, like, you know, the funny thing is they were actually planning to move to Alberta. They were considering that. Why there, though? Because, you know, like, the house cheaper? market. Yeah, like, houses are cheaper there and whatever, you know. But of no, course, that's they just too far. That's too yeah, far. That's too guy. far. But they decided to like, um, like stay local so that, you know, but you where's know, her parents? So her parents are no, she don't have family in Alberta. No, I mean, like her family's still like down here, like in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they're Brampton? down here. They're down here. They're down where you guys are. Well, yeah, more so like 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 wealth GTA ends. Oh, OK, that's still yeah, not yeah. bad. Yeah, 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 that's so not yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, I know. And plus, like London, St. Thomas, it's it's like not too far from Guelph. It's like an hour twenty minutes to get there. Yeah, compared to coming back to Brampton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, those those drives are hella long. <laughs> oh, definitely, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Last weekend, also, we had a good time after the Western Fair. Of course, like you, Dwayne, and um, his wife came over. Yes. And you know, we slept over. For the, and plus, luckily, like, you know, like, since mom and dad are gone for two months in Jamaica, we have the house to ourselves. So enough space for people to come over and sleep. Big over, party, right? my guy. Big party. In, well, we. <laughs> no, I'm well, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> more so just a chill, chill. We had a party, but. No, no. Was, yeah, we, I was like, yeah, it was very chill. But it like was our chill, own type you know? vibe. Yep. Yeah. And plus, I know I wasn't expecting for you to invite Dwayne and, and the wifey. And his wife, because it's like, well, Dwayne always wanted to come up. Right. So I told him, like, like, I asked him. Yeah. And he thought I was joking. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's OK with Kate if you reach. Like, I don't think he'll say no. Yeah. yo. So that's when I had to kind of think fast and call the plays like, OK, you, Matt, bring your own. Um, No, like I was going to bring this. I was, was going to bring the mattress for myself anyways. Just yeah. yeah so you have something to sleep on. And yeah, I'm, exactly. Yeah. And I was kind of asking, like, you know, mom and dad, oh, I have a married couple over. Can they sleep on your bed? But. Um, then again, it's like, I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe I should just give them my bed. We have an extra mattress at home. I can just blow that up yeah, exactly. for myself yeah, yeah. and to sleep yeah. on. And I slept yeah. good on that mattress. <laughs> you probably slept there on Sunday night, too. I actually didn't. I deflated it the same night. <laughs> as soon as I got my room back, I'm, I'm like, yep, I'm sleeping on my bed. Now. <laughs> and, yo, remember when I told Dwayne and his wife, like, after they, like, because, like, they, they decided, yo, you, um, between the mattress and my room mm -hmm. upstairs. Yeah. I told him like, yo, you guys better not practice on my bed. Eh? <laughs> yeah. No picnics, no picnics on the bed. No I know y'all don't have kids yet, but no practice. <laughs> on my bed. I was just joking with them though. <laughs> oh no, no, you aren't joking. You weren't joking. <laughs> not the joke thing, man. Joke it's thing. not a joke thing, man. It's not a joke thing. <laughs> no, it was good still. It yeah. Good and still. plus also not just them, like my brother, my youngest brother, Carrington had two of his friends come as well. Yep. So how much? So if you do the math and 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 along with Cody as well, yeah, so it was a decent amount of people. Yeah, if you do the yeah. math, me, you, Dwayne, it was a, it was a full Orange. house, my guy. It was an episode of Full House. Eight of us in the house. <laughs> it's an episode of Full House. Full House, yeah, or you. Full our house with, with you being with you being Bob Saget, the only white guy. <laughs> That's okay, bro. It's it's always like that. <laughs> I'm okay with that, my guy. Man, ain't, ain't no niggas was on Full House. No, nah, <laughs> that's what I. That's why it's it's the um the new day, the new age. Yeah, and what's it called? And um, I know I made sure to like buy cereal so that people have breakfast to eat. Yeah, yeah. But of course, my brother did a good job. But I wasn't taking a, care of you guys. Yeah, but I wasn't like expecting your brother like make the breakfast. I know. Yeah, like, yeah. You know? Like Carrington, like made made basically brunch or whatever. What was he? Yeah. Like. I don't know, like, like it uh, was like eggs. Yeah, scrambled eggs with hot scrambled dogs eggs with the hot dogs. Uh, what did he put on the hot dogs though? It, it yeah, was like pretty good. Ketchup, ketchup, and what though? Had to be something else. Yeah, the, the, he did say he just ketchup or some type of sauce. Really? Because I'm pretty sure, or like, maybe I, like the the way he seasoned it. You know? Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah probably. The way he seasoned it with mm -hmm, the hot because the eggs were like good too. Yeah, chicken frankfurters. Yeah. Oh, like that's a, that's the type of the, um, the yeah. hot dogs. Yeah, that that he sliced it with and whatever. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and what's it called? I don't know. Like um, the bean loaf. Cody came through with some vegan meals. The bean loaf, and then the bean. The bean brownie. Uh, the bean brownie. Yeah, and it was funny. Uh, um, what's her name? Uh, she. Mo uh, no, uh, not Monique. The other, um, the other. Oh yeah, Carrington's that. friend, Alicia. Yeah. Yeah, it's like she was like, um, which one's the meatloaf? And then she took the brownie. Yeah, yo, she confused the bean loaf with the bean brownie. <laughs> she took the brownie. She goes, this tastes like the brownie. It's not. It's um, isn't it supposed to taste like bean? Or I think it was the <laughs> other way. 
I don't know if she took the bean loaf or the brownie, but she's yeah. like, I thought this was the other one. What happened? <laughs> yeah, and I told like, no, that's the loaf. That's yeah. the brownie. She thought yeah. the loaf was the brownie. <laughs> oh man. It was it was good though. Yeah, it was pretty good still. It gave me and Dwayne the runs like on the weekend. Yeah, it run on a belly. Look, even when I got home, bro, I'm like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it was good though, still. Can't lie. Yeah. Can't yeah, lie man. about that. Yeah, I know. Like when you when you haven't had vegan stuff, it's definitely gonna run your belly. No, like not even that. But in it's a just, good way though. In a good Yeah, way. but usually when you eat more healthy, it that's what it does. Yeah, exactly. Like mm-hmm. I remember one time, like one like like at the time when while he was still moved out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like he had moved out briefly for a month in Brampton before coming back. Like while I was crashing at his place and he had made me like a smoothie with sea moss in it, right? I yeah, drank yeah. it and I was shitting bare after that, bro. <laughs> like while driving, I had to use the washroom bad. I was like literally <laughs> this close to shitting my pants. <laughs> So basically, <laughs> your insides were clean after. after yeah, that I was clean, moss. but I had to hit, yep. I had to hit the washroom multiple times, shit and diarrhea because of that <laughs> sea moss. <laughs> then you painted the walls, fam. You've been painting the walls with with my shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. You've been painting the walls brown. Nah, paint. <laughs> nah, painting the toilet bowl, not the walls. <laughs> <laughs> the toilet bowl. The toilet bowl. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and also what's it what's it called? Like, um, we ended up also like watching some movies and TV shows. Like, we watched I think what's it called? We I watched uh, The Man from Toronto. From right? Toronto, yes. Yeah, with Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson, right? Yes. Then we ended up watching White Man Can Jump. Yeah, after. because Woody Harrelson was from that movie. And but you never though, seen it. Ever. I never watched it. <laughs> it took me thirty years to watch to finally watch the movie. <laughs> and then now take you thirty more years to watch the other one. No, I'm not waiting that long to watch the sequel. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm going to be on that when it comes out, especially no, but, with Jack Harlow. Yeah, but I don't think the um the sequel will ever touch the original. The original. Oh, no, hell no. Nah. After watching well, that, I'm like, nah. But I told you it was a good classic. movie. What took I me told so you, bro. I told you it was good. You didn't oh, believe no, I, me. I believed you. I believed you. My boy was in it. Yeah. Oh, who? Woody? Your boy? <laughs> My boy, Woody. Yo, Woody's your boy. Oh, I like talking about <laughs> yeah. Jack Harlow for the sequel. <laughs> Is he actually going to be in it, though? Yeah, yeah. They're casting him. In the in the white man can't jump sequel, so he's gonna be basically playing Woody. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, Woody's character. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Or maybe Woody's well, son. Well, Jack Hall is a tall good. So no, but maybe or maybe Woody's son maybe to continue the legacy. Oh, so what does Woody have? Oh, so Woody has a son that that is in acting. No, I'm just saying like to continue the storyline oh, in oh, white. Oh, oh, like to white man can't jump too, right? Because if they're trying to continue it to make it a sequel. Yeah, but who does but who who does Woody character have a son with? Because him and and the the or, the the actress no, the, chick- the character played by Rosie Perez they broke up because the man was gambling too much. <laughs> no, that or maybe who knows? Like maybe she forgive because the whole movie she was forgiving him the whole movie. But at the end, she gone. She ain't coming back. <laughs> maybe he found an ex broad. I don't know. Basically, the moral <laughs> of white men can't jump. Don't is gamble. Deeper than its title. Stop <laughs> gambling. Money. Stop white being men careless with money or else you're gonna lose your woman <laughs> white men don't gamble that's what it is white men don't gamble white men stop gambling <laughs> <laughs> then we brought back the old tv shows oh yeah yeah after that i think what's it called that same night we were watching i was finishing like the new season of, i mean the new proud family yes because we season. finished we finished the season no we yeah finished yeah it? like mm-hmm. because i had because i had like i hadn't watched the final few episodes until like like until that time like i stopped mm. at episode five i was keeping up but i had been falling behind but now i had time to watch the rest of the season yes sir yeah and plus like yo i don't care what anyone says the new pro family actually slaps yes it the does. new theme song it, the, it, it's, the new theme it's song, very it, mid it's, it's mid, very mid it, but it, it ain't actually it. made me laugh the whole it did. Show but i'm saying laugh. like they should have just did like the old theme, but put it over the new intro and try to make it match type thing, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, there's no point of changing it. Yeah. And then we watch That's So Raven. Yeah. But before That's that, so, so Raven, Raven, we were watching some of the old, older um, Proud Family. Proud family. Yes. And then yes. the next day we started. Oh, yeah. We watched One on One the same night that we fell asleep. Then the next day. That's so Raven. Raven. Marathon. That's so Raven. I'm what is like, after? yo. 
It's the future I can see that's so raving. And, or, and for Orlando, copyright, copyright material. And Orlando Brown only had four bars on that theme song. Yes, he did. And it's gonna ride, gonna shake y'all. <laughs> and if you do shake y'all, it ain't the things don't shake y'all. Let's get to know. <laughs> yeah, when he was normal. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, but when he was normal. when he was normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, like, and I then, don't know how much episodes we watch. I think we started off from the first one, watched a few episodes of, like, each of the first three seasons. Yeah, then like, we yo, then we switched day, to My Wife and these Kids. These episodes are fucking funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, some of the stuff that, like, I miss, like, you could, like, when you're watching it again, you're like, yo, how stupid is this? But, like, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Right? But, like, oh, yeah, not, definitely. Mm-hmm, like, if you like, um, especially when you're like re watching, um, what was it, My Wife and Kids? Yes, yeah, 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 like that was pretty funny too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, we basically went on like a, a marathon of watching old TV shows from that we grew up on from the early 2000s. But there was, was another, there was another one that we missed. We should have played at least like one or two episodes from the Bernie Mac show. Bernie Mac, oh, yeah, I almost forgot about the Bernie Mac show, yeah, yes, yeah, so that was a good one too, yeah. Yeah, Kate's like, nah, nah. <laughs> Thanks I don't like to that, that one. F movies plug and that soap today plug, yo. Yes. Yeah, man. Um, um, I send you the cinema HD. Did you install it on your TV yet or no? I got the link, but I'm I'm a, I'm install it when I get the chance. Okay. Yeah. Because it works on like any TV though. So yeah, any smart Gucci. TV, right? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. first, because first I downloaded it on my Sony that I had upstairs. Yeah. And then we have a new TV now, so now I have to do it again. Yeah. Yes, but it's it's basically like all what's on F movies, what's on, whatever's on Disney Plus, um, Apple TV, Crave TV, whatever's on there, it all shows up on there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Gotta, yeah. Yeah. I know. Instead of having to like use HDMI cord to plug to the TV. And then also you can also like put it on your phone and yeah. you can just and then you could just cast it to your TV if you wanted to do that, too. Okay. This, yeah. So. I don't know. To me, it's easier if it's already on the TV. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Like me, me personally, like I don't even mind like, you know, using the HDMI cord. No, but I'm saying like if you were if you have the app on the TV, you don't need it. You don't need it. Yeah. 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 So you don't have to like just worry about like your laptop being connected type thing. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I'll yeah. give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Dog. Can you yeah. stop talking, man? Two rats, <laughs> clap. Don't worry, that's yeah, a ten man. minute countdown. Still. It's a ten minute countdown, man. <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, yo. Okay, what's the call? What's been happening in sports? I know NBA. We're still waiting on that. A lot yes. of trades and free agent transactions have gone on since we last recorded. Yes. Donovan Mitchell getting traded to Cleveland. Russell Westbrook and. And um, I heard. Uh, what do you mean, Russell Westbrook is still on the Lakers? No, right? no, I'm saying him and and um, geez, I'm drawing blanks right now. Oh, Pat Beverly. Pat Beverly are gonna be teammates for the first time. But I was reading, I was reading something about how, um, they were trying to put like Westbrook. They were trying to agree with him to, for Westbrook to come off the bench. I don't think that. I don't think you should. He should be coming off the bench. Especially, maybe I think what's it called? The last coach that they had, maybe was trying, but... to kick, was trying to play him off the bench, you know. And you hear that in the medium, he should play off the bench. But I don't think he should play off the bench. He just needs to accept his role. Well, he does, but yeah, just needs to play better too, and just shoot better. You know what I mean? I saw a clip of him working on his shots. Yeah, but that's like every like um, NBA player in the off yeah, season. like hype hype off season video. <laughs> Like basically, you see like Ben Simmons, like for the what was it, a couple of years ago in the gym off season shooting threes. Yeah. And it comes to the NBA, nothing. Like nothing. the NBA, like uh, um, like during the season games, nothing. Won't even take the shots. <laughs> Won't even take a layup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone a shot. Yeah, but we'll see in Brooklyn because now that he has Katie and Kyrie as his teammates, you won't have to worry about shooting. Yeah, but the meme from back well, back then. If he shot Tupac, Tupac would be alive. Oh, had... if... oh yeah. They ben, made memes ben about Simmons. that when it came to Russell Westbrook too. If, oh yeah. If Westbrook was the shooter, you see a you see a <laughs> old face Tupac. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, that, that is funny. I've yet to see the one that says if if um 
if Westbrook was the shooter and you see Selena still alive <laughs> at 51 years old. Um, did we say on the last pod that J. Cole is a cover is is gonna be a cover of 2K? Yeah, one of the one of the oh. covers for NBA 2K23. We said that already? I don't think we said that. Oh, because I don't know if it's gonna be the Canadian version. Because right yeah, now, like, what edition of because right now, because right on? now, if you go to the store, it's only the Devin Booker on two on the two K twenty three. Yes, really, Devin Booker's on two K twenty three. Yeah, search it. But his team's a fraud, bro. Y'all choked in the first. Y'all choked in the second round, bro. Not you, my you don't problem. Don't deserve bro. to be on the cover. This not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like they're just putting anyone. Yeah, it's like different editions. Where... They might as well just. No, like, I understand that. Instead of, like, why don't you just put Chris Paul in front of fucking Devin Booker? Mm. I don't know what's going on over there. Okay, okay. But wait, oh, yeah, he's feet on the Dreamer edition. That's what it is. Yeah, but, like, the other edition they have, it was um the Legend edition. I think that's the, um, that's the MJ with, version. With Michael Jordan on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for 23. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure next year they'll probably do something for Kobe for 24. Oh, yeah, you, you would have to. You would have if, to, definitely. If they don't, oh, someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to get beat up, sir, if they don't do that. Like who? 2K. <laughs> 2K going to get people. No, they're just going to get bad reviews. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yeah. People but. just going to, you know, t- like really get in on them. Like, yo, no Kobe for 2K24. Wow. Exactly. I'm pretty. And then um, that Netflix special for Kobe, like just about him on the Lakers, I it was supposed to come out in August. I don't see it anywhere. But yeah, that's what I heard. Like beginning of the year that there would be a Kobe documentary on Netflix in August. But like I haven't seen it anywhere. Maybe and still now, in the works. Well, I guess because now they're promoting the other one that's coming out for the um, the Dream Team. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, I want to see Kobe's before that one. Like, why, why would I? Why would I want to see Team USA? Like uh, like yeah, I would want to see it, but like not as bad as like Kobe's, you know. This is the Kobe one, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But because they were hyping it up, oh yeah, it's coming out in August. Coming out in August. Yeah, as where if it had it? already been done. Like that's what I'm saying. Where seven is it? Seven months prior. To... Like where is it? <laughs> yeah, maybe they're still in the editing process or whatever. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah, we're waiting for NBA to start. Waiting for NHL to start. Yeah, and I heard NBA 2K23 been getting some shit reviews. <laughs> really. Yeah, more so like with the defense and uh, defensive end, like you but know. But the defense, a, but it's been shit. It's yeah, been like shit. when a de- like when a defender comes off the screen, it's like you know the player kind of like lags a bit. Well, that and um, it's still the same thing. You know when you like try to steal um when you go in and try to steal the ball if you're playing on like PS Five or whatever. Yeah. Like you press the steal button, it's yeah. always a foul for some reason. Like you can't steal it properly. That's the thing, yo. Like yo. This is why NBA 2K14 is the best 2K I ever played. I used to get steals like it was nothing without committing a foul. I tied now, the record for most steals. But now, fact, I broke the record. But now when you press the steal button, bro, it's a reach-in foul. It's a reach-in foul, yo. Like, how else am I going to get the ball? <laughs> exactly, you if know? the guy misses? <laughs> so basically, pressing the button for a steal is like pressing a button for a foul. Yeah, man. Like, I got to fix that shit. It's like, 2K. it's stupid. Like yeah, stupid. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not buying two K twenty three. I'm gonna keep my two K twenty two. I don't care. And then, yeah, one of the guys that works said, like, I think he said the shooting is more easier in this one. But I'm like, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if it's easier, it's easier. But I'm like, I don't know. I don't play it that often, anyways. Yeah, but... yo. I, I haven't played in months, yo. <laughs> not me either. My guys I don't even play. have the most motivation to play because basically I'm not, not sure even if it's that. like it's this just, for every... It's not even like that. It's just time. Yeah. It's time, my yeah, guy. I don't really have time to to really play 2K these days. Like maybe... Like even when I had like the week off from work, bro, I didn't... Like in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm like maybe some days I'll be playing 2K. Yeah. Nah, I just got too busy. Yeah. And plus, <laughs> like to be honest, whenever I have free time to play a game... And instead of playing 2K, I end up playing a mobile basketball game on my phone. Oh, yeah. The one I think you were playing on the couch over the weekend. Yeah, the street. It's called Streetball All-Star. Streetball All-Star. Yeah, it's like it's like um this mobile basketball game where you can face people online and it's like three on three half court. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. So what? It's like like street ball type thing. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But of course, you don't you don't go ten and whatever. But it's pretty fun. I ended I end up I'm like, yo, this is more fun than two K. <laughs> And plus, it's in the palm of your hands too, right? So yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, yo, <laughs> yeah, yo. Countdown going down, my guy. Yeah, I know. Two minutes, two minutes. And I remember like seeing this meme on NBA Twitter, like uh, you know Jeremy Lamb, right? When he was on OKC Thunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows a picture on of him from Two K with the caption saying, "Oh, when you have your hands full, Garden." Kevin Durant and Westbrook, and this motherfucker starts hitting five threes in a row. <laughs> that actually happened to me one time. Like, dog, I'm I'm playing against OKC. I'm, you know, like on my career mode, you know, yep. making sure we, you know, contain KD and Russell Westbrook, and then Jeremy Lance starts balling out of nowhere. <laughs> Even never... on other teams, like, you know, you know those, you know, computer-generated transactions, where a player goes here, a player goes there, and whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. On yeah. other teams, man, would give me buckets and cook me, dog. And then score like um, 25 points in the first half. It's like, dude, you're not even an all star. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's weird. Yeah, but 2K14 was fun. I missed that. I played 11 seasons on that for my career mode. Yeah. Did you play like each game or you were like, I played stuff? every game, every game. Fuck, I know, I, I know there was one that um, I did the face scan, and, like, the thing looked exactly like me. Yeah, but that shit I think don't it was work like for, six... for, for black people. That don't work for niggas. <laughs> well, like, but it was funny because when I did it, Dwayne's like, yo, why does your guy look mixed? <laughs> I'm like, bro, that's the face scan, bro. <laughs> made you made you light skin. <laughs> but yes, sir, there's a countdown. We'll be back. Yeah, next segment. Yeah, next segment. Yeah.